Ebola has never been to West Africa before this. Mm -hmm. Ebola always was in rural areas. This is the first that it's gone to an urban area. And it was in many ways bad luck that it happened in a major transportation hub, right. originally in Guinea. So the world hadn't seen anything like this before. In fact, here's what I like to keep in mind. Between 1976, when first described, and 2013, fewer people were, were reported globally as dying from Ebola than this very outbreak. So less than 2,000 cases reported globally mm -hmm. between 76 and 2013, and now, as you said, thousands of cases. We've never seen anything like this What's before. What's your sense of the response and, and the measures in place now? Are we doing mostly the right things, or are we still falling short? Well, here's how we thought about it. So we made our pledge on September 10th that we would put $50 million and put it to use quickly mm -hmm. because we saw the crisis and we heard these kinds of figures that are now public. What we heard was a response is needed, flexible funds are needed, and it's needed right now. So what I know is that the people on the ground, the people in the front lines need funding. They need personal protective mm -hmm. gear, gloves, People like CDC who are experts at the epidemics right. need to track and trace contacts. And so there's a lot of needs that are now being met and a huge mobilization has occurred, particularly uh, since CDC pointed out and Dr. Frieden traveled yep. to West Africa and reported back to all of us. It, this though uh, does have some relationship to the lack of primary health care infrastructure in, in much of Africa. I spoke to uh, the uh, head of the World Bank, uh, Dr. Jim Kim yesterday, also an infectious disease expert who says, you know, this these kinds of things can hit places where that primary health care infrastructure is not there. There's there's not much danger of an Ebola outbreak in the United States. You can have Ebola here and we'll know how to contain it. We know how to control Ebola. Yeah. We know how to control outbreaks of Ebola. And I think this is a reminder to all of us of the important of a, importance of a working health system. So what was really clear is particularly in Liberia and Sierra Leone, the health system, the infrastructure wasn't there. Mm -hmm. So even when recognized, you couldn't push the button on and what we know how to do to so do something is, about but it. But this is something that you deal with at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. You, you go into places where the systems are not there. How do you then decide that X amount of money goes to the stuff you know has to happen, that you've got to get these protective suits mm -hmm. and medication, whatever, but how do you support the building of an infrastructure so that, so that when it happens the next right. time, we don't have the same response. So here's how we thought about where to invest our dollars. So even though we invest a, approximately $4 billion in this last year, in, in terms of the world's efforts against global health and global development, that actually is relatively small. So we look at the global burden of disease. We're looking at the diseases that, that harm women, children, families. The big burden of disease has been things like malaria, tuberculosis, and that's where we've made investments yep. traditionally. Increasingly, we see that this health systems infrastructure is so needed. Yeah. And, and let me give you a good example of something that's a good news item. So some of the infrastructure in Nigeria as a result of Gates Foundation funding, government funding, and the Dangote Foundation has been in place on polio. Right. Literally within 12 hours, one of those uh, emergency centers was turned around right. to be a frontline center for Ebola yeah. in, in Lagos. Yeah, because we knew we were worried when it got into Nigeria, it's in a bigger right. population center, but at the same time we knew there is better healthcare infrastructure there. And that's such a good example. Yeah. The epidemic as of today appears to have been contained, yeah. approximately yeah. 20 cases. That just shows you the importance of a working health system in those investments.